Thank you, Mr. Speaker and, and members. I just want to say I'm really happy and proud to be here today. This is a historic day for Minnesota. and. Um, it reminds me what we did 20 years ago here uh, when I was a chief author then and we added uh, those words sexual orientation to the Minnesota Human Rights Act. And that protected our gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender Minnesotans from unlawful discrimination in employment, housing, public services, access to education, access to credit, and public accommodations. The passage of that law had taken 20 years to pass, and the bill that we're proposing today has taken another 20 years. And I just want to say that there's been a lot of um, discussion that's been going on around Minnesota, especially in the last two years, um, all about what marriage is. More people than I can imagine, thousands of, of families have been talking about marriage, and we've been talking about marriage as a love and commitment and responsibility that two people can share. In the process of that discussion, many families from all over the state I know uh, came out in support of same-sex couples and the families that they know and love and respect in their own lives, in their own communities. And I know that's true for members here. There are always members here and many who have told me that you have GLBT um, family members and understand this issue from that standpoint. And what it really leads to is that in Minnesota we don't turn our back on our families. I want to share a photo with you. I think the front desk has it. Um, this photo is a personal photo that was taken in June at the Minneapolis Gay Pride Parade, right after we had passed that um, amendment to the Minnesota Human Rights Act. And I am the person, if you, as you're laying it on your desk, over on the left, I don't have gray hair, so maybe some of the new members might not recognize me, but there I am, next to my partner who is here or will be here. Uh, upstairs, and my mother, who has passed about 10 years ago, and my dad, who passed about two years ago. And um, they're not here, of course, in physical body, but I know they're here in spirit. And what I want you to do is to read the sign that they were carrying at that gay pride parade 20 years ago. They carried a sign that said, our gay children should have the same rights as our heterosexual children. Um, this is Millie and Burtis Clark from Rock County, um, and I hope the representative from Rock County recognizes my dad and mom on there. Um, they were very proud that we had passed that law. One of, the way, one of the things my mother did was to write a letter to the Rock County Star Herald and discuss that bill um, before it was passed, and uh, got a lot of feedback, which I understand people are getting a lot of feedback about this particular bill. Um, she ended her letter to the Rock County Star Herald saying, no, I believe my daughter is differently blessed. And I always appreciated that about my mom and dad. And, and I, I, again, I know they're here in spirit. So just look at that photo and keep that in mind. And I just want to remark that my family knew uh, firsthand that same-sex couples pay our taxes, we vote, we serve in the military, we take care of our kids, our elders, and we run businesses in Minnesota. We work hard and we contribute to the same Minnesota system as everyone else. So I conclude that same-sex couples should be treated fairly under the law, including having the freedom to marry the person that we love. When we fall in love and decide to commit ourselves to another person, Marriage can be part of, of that whole commitment. And I do think it's become clear that most Minnesotans believe that marriage is a unique promise of love, commitment, responsibility, and fidelity that two people share. That we believe in Minnesota in treating others the way we would want to be treated and that none of us would want to hold that it is illegal to marry the person we love. Freedom means freedom for everyone. Unfortunately, here in Minnesota, until we pass this law, same-sex couples are still excluded from marriage. We've had a number of polls. In April, the KSTP poll said that 51% of Minnesotans support allowing same-sex couples to marry. And there's some other polls, and we'll be talking about them perhaps as we go along today. Um, and I can just say that Minnesotans from every faith 
and political background have been urging the legislature to take action this year and include same-sex couples in the freedom to marry. I would say our Minnesota values are clearly not represented by excluding some people from the freedom to marry just because of who we are. So this discussion with many of you has led to today's vote and it reminds me uh, so much of 20 years ago and some of the discussions we had on the floor here. Um, one of the things that it comes down to eventually, and I've heard many of you uh, say this phrase, is that it's important that we know that it's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do today to vote to pass this bill. I do believe it's time to ensure that no Minnesotan is told that it's illegal to marry the person they love. That includes me and many people who you all know and love in your own lives. With that Thank you, Mr. Speaker and, and members, and I just want to add my voice to those who have noticed how respectful this whole conversation has been. Really appreciate it. Um, it says something about the quality of this body that means so much to me. And I do want to say that it's been a real honor to carry this legislation. It's, it's, um, so many people have contributed to it, both those who support it and those who've had difficulties with it. Um, and so it's much bigger than myself, but I do want to just say a personal note, which is this is very important to me, and I'm so honored that my partner of 24 years is here. Jacqueline, and I, I thank you for making it here. She wasn't feeling well earlier, but she's here, and she's deep inside in many ways. I, I um, I want to thank Representative Faust. He talked about the um, when you understand that you can't live without someone in your life. I feel really honored to have that part of my life. Um, and I think what we're asking for here is just the basic, basic right to expand the meaning of marriage and all the legal protections and rights and responsibilities that come with it. Um, this isn't about bigotry, as se several people mentioned. This is about honoring, honoring difference. Representative Doubt, you talked about you know, really understanding people on the other side. And I want to say, I hope I've done a good job of really honoring and respecting um, the need for people who have different, a, re a religious objection to marriage between people of the same sex. We tried very hard, and I think in three or four different places, put that into this legislation because I do respect uh, the other side and the other point of view and I thank all the people who, who helped with that. Um, and, and some of you did in, in very specific words, help making sure we put the right words together. Others of you by just conversations. I have had the honor of talking with many of you about what this means to you, um, both pro and, and against. And so it really, it really is a wonderful moment to be here. I do believe we are on the verge of, of changing uh, Minnesota's history and that um, I'm, I'm just grateful again to be part of it. I thought I would mention just maybe one major topic that, that came up and several people talked about the children. Um, there was the study cited by the one psychologist who, that um, I, Representative Grunhagen mentioned. I just wanted to point out that in that particular study what we now know is that there were only two of the 3,000 people who were, who were uh, interviewed there that were um, actually uh, children of, uh, who were raised by GLBT families. So it was much more about, it really was about how important it is to have stability in a, in a relationship. And that's what this uh, legislation will help. We are protecting many children more than 2,000, uh, 5,000, excuse me, Minnesota children who are now, whether you approve or not, are now parts of GLBT families, several thousand GLBT families. These children need the protection of the laws that we will be passing here today to make sure that they have the equal rights and protections that all families who are married have. Um, I did want to say um, one special um, kind of bittersweet moment. Um, Senator Alan Spear, as you know, served here um, in the Minnesota Senate for many, many years. And he was here. He was my chief author in, in 1993 when we passed um, the human rights uh, law that included those words sexual orientation. 
Alan passed in 2008, and uh, I know those of you who know him know that he would be very proud. He would be very proud of the fact that we've taken this step 20 years later, and I just want to recognize and honor his legacy because he helped get us here. He was the first openly gay man who served in the Minnesota legislature. There were many things that individuals said that I found very inspiring, and I, I won't repeat too many of them because I want to respect our time here, but I will just say that um, when the words liberty and freedom were mentioned, I think that is something that is so important to all of us. And the liberty and freedom that we are talking about here is deep into this part of, of um, marriage equality. And I just want to say again, for those of you who object, we are not redefining marriage, but I would say that we are strengthening the meaning of marriage by opening it um, to couples who are committed, who have the love, the commitment, the responsibility that we all associate with the words marriage. So in closing, friends, I just want to invite you to say yes to marriage equality. And I recognize the, um, the courage and integrity of all of you, however you vote. Um, I especially, though, want to thank those who I know are taking a very risky chance and have had some difficult things said to them about um, voting for this bill. And I uh, just so much appreciate you. And again, I'm humbled to be the author of this bill and to carry it forward. And I urge you all to, to vote yes. Thank you.